Wow, stories. Am I the idiot for expecting my stepchildren to do more housework? I have an 8-year-old son with my ex-husband, and my husband has an 11-year-old son and a 14-year-old daughter with his ex-wife. My son is helpful and independent and has a chore chart. He does all his own self-care chores, tidies and cleans his own room, does his own laundry, makes his own snacks, lunch, and breakfast. He also does a lot of household chores, loading, unloading the dishwasher, feeding the dog, helping make dinner, etc. My stepchildren are less inclined to help around the house or even do their own personal chores. For the most part, my husband and I raise our own kids and have firm boundaries about discipling and parenting each other's kids. I have a good relationship with my stepkids. If I ask my stepchildren to do certain chores, they will sometimes do it and other times so they'll say they'll do it later and never get back to it. This often ends up with me having to nag them or do it myself. My husband will rarely ask his kids to do any chores. He won't even make them do their own laundry and does it himself. Sometimes I have to do it because it gets so backed up. They don't have any clean clothes to wear. The 11-year-old's room is always a mess, and I regularly have to go in there to get dirty cups and plates. In December, I got so sick of the state of it, I made SS help me clean and tidy. Later that day, my husband came home from work, and we had been cleaning for over an hour. He essentially told me it wasn't my business to make his son clean his room. He said it was his space and he was able to treat it how he likes. I am tired of having to do so much of the housework when it would be quicker and easier for the kids to pitch in more. My husband does do some housework, but as he works full-time and I only work part-time, I take on the bulk of it. Recently, I asked my husband if we could get together as a family and make a chore chart for all the kids so that his kids can take on some extra responsibility. I even wanted to make it so the kids could earn rewards for doing extra chores to give them incentive. He was against this. While I believe that chores are an important way to contribute to the family unit and learn necessary skills for adulthood, my husband doesn't agree. He was raised in a very strict home, and both him and his ex-wife believe in more free-range parenting for their kids. He thinks kids shouldn't be burdened with any chores, and that he doesn't want his kids to spend their limited free time doing chores that don't interest them. He also doesn't think it will be hard for them to pick up the skills later in life. He thinks I'm an idiot for continuing to bring up his kids doing chores and that if I do make them do more chores, they'll just want to spend more time at their mom's house. He told me I'd be in danger of becoming a stereotypical wicked stepmother if I push chores on the kids. Am I the idiot? You're the idiot. Y'all agreed to each parent your kids how you want. This is the result of that TBH, the fact that an 8-yo is making his own meals, doing laundry, loading the dishwasher, etc. Sounds more like you're raising a house servant than a child. Not to mention your 8-yo does so much, and you, working part-time, are complaining about having to pull your weight because the children aren't working enough for you. You're the idiot. You are complaining about being overworked and annoyed the kids won't do chores when you only work part-time, and is forcing a 8-year-old to make his own meals because you're too tired get grip. And maybe this is a sign that when your kid is older, you're getting dumped in a shitty retirement home. Now, for the next story. Am I the idiot for being petty and holding a grudge against my brother? I struggle with hygiene. Not in a I love dirt kind of way, but in the way I am very paranoid about germs. It first started when COVID began, and it has since spiraled from then. I won't go into details, but it is a problem significant enough that even my family has noticed. The only place that feels truly clean is my bedroom. No one is allowed to enter without washing their feet with soap, and my family does not step into my room without permission. However, my older brother, who is in his mid-twenties, disregarded this rule multiple times up until recently. My cat sometimes enters my room, and my older brother will come to my door to get the cat. I always tell him not to enter, and I give him the cat whenever he asks for it. Despite this, if I am ever out of my room and my cat is in it, my brother still enters my room to take the cat. I am usually in the room with the cat at all times, so whenever I step out, it is only briefly. It really pisses me off because my brother can't wait a short time for me to return. There have been multiple occasions that this has happened, and I have repeatedly told him off for doing so. I firmly set this specific boundary with him, and he has acknowledged this. 
These incidents have left me feeling really irritated and upset, but I didn't really do anything about it. A few weeks ago, my brother came to my room as usual to get the cat. My cat was underneath my bed so it took a little while to try to get it out. My back was facing my brother, and the minute I turned to get at a better angle, my brother was sprawled on the floor of my room beckoning the cat out. I completely lost it. I screamed at him and called him expletives, telling him to get out, and I slammed the door in his face. He went away. I was furious at him and felt incredibly disrespected. Fast forward to now, I am now not on speaking terms with my brother. Any attempt he makes to try to talk to me, I completely ignore him. He has apologized since then, though it doesn't feel sincere. He says it wasn't that serious, doesn't know what I want him to say, and that he doesn't even enter my room anymore. He also tells me it breaks his heart when he sees me acting so cold towards him and that he doesn't want a poor relationship with me in the future. My parents both agree that I should get over it since it was in the past. I am starting to think that too now. On one hand, he invalidates my feelings and my boundaries. But on the other hand, he is my brother. I love him, and I don't want this anger I have towards him to hold over our heads forever. It is possible that I overreacted and should probably seek help for this extreme cleanliness thing. And maybe this whole situation isn't worth holding a petty grudge over. Am I the idiot? In case anyone was wondering why my older brother is living in the same house as our family, we live in a country where it is normal for adult children to live with their parents because housing is expensive. You're the idiot. Also, what makes the cat more clean than the family members? when the cat is obviously being petted and touched by the family members. He's just trying to take the cat and doesn't touch anything else in your room. If you don't want your brother to enter your room again, just close your door so the cat can't enter your room either. You're the idiot. You seem self-aware enough to understand that this germophobia is not normal. I hope you're seeking professional help because it's not reasonable to ask people to keep accommodating you. That said, if you had overreacted in the moment and then apologized, that would be one thing, but you're an idiot because you know it's unreasonable but you're choosing to maintain the grudge.